Right then, have a quick warm up. It's a little bit of one. So what I want you to do is just stand up nice and tall and just come down and just loosen up just a little bit. And just a few side bends. Just do one more on each side. What I want you to do is bring your arm over. So do the same side, just to really stretch out a little bit and get warmed up. Okay, one more. So now change sides, so reach up and over. Okay, one more. Okay, so have your hands round in front of you and just twist round and center. One more on each side. And rest up there. So what I want you to do now is you stand nice and tall. Just reach up and back. So just lean back slightly, not too much. So one more. And knees up there. So hang it up nice and tall. It's going to come forward, round and up and then the opposite way round. Okay, one more each way. And back there, well done. So, so the first one we're gonna do is standing up, you have your hands up here like this, nice and slowly. You just bring your knee up and down. So do it nice and slowly and try and take your elbow down to meet your knee in the middle. Let's see how far we got. That's up there, so it's nice. So you've got to use your balance. Now try and take that elbow down towards that knee. You're into your last 10 seconds. And rest up out of that one. So with or without a weight, you're gonna do forward lunges, and then you're gonna turn round towards your front leg. So if your right leg is at the front, you twist to your right, if it's your left leg, you twist around that way. If you haven't got weights, it doesn't matter. I just thought I'd add some in. So make sure when you do any of these exercises, you don't harm your breath. Find out which way is easier for you to breathe in and out on. So you've got 12 exercises. I'm going to do them twice through. Last one. And rest up there. So with or without your weight again. Hands above your head. So you've got to suck your belly button into your backbone. Dip your hips under. And all you're going to do is come over and up. We're going to do alternate sides. Just try and suck everything in. Keep your back protected, suck that belly button in. Got 15 seconds left of these. Okay, one more, and rest up there. 
so you're going to have the hand up by your shoulders here you're going to come down and up that way so wood choppers so it's literally like you're chopping wood down and up well done I'm loving that gym with the telly. That's awesome. Over halfway on this one now. Last 10 seconds. And then we're going to change sides and do the other way. One more. Well done. So now we're going to do the other side. Now over to the other side. Are right, you ready? Off you go. So down, back up. Well done. Over halfway. So last 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into a windmill. So, Feet on those double yellow lines, toe one, toe out, so it's facing that way. The weight, if you're using it on the leg that is turned out, the other arm is up. You lean slightly forward, turn and look at that arm and come back up. So you lean slightly forward, turn and look at that hand that's above your head. Try not to let this weight touch your front leg. If you can keep both legs straight, that's great. But if you can't, then the one that the dumbbell is going down or the weight is going in front of. So after this one, we're gonna do the other side. Okay, one more. And change sides. So legs back on those double yellow lines, just toe one, toe out. Okay, one arm up, other one, whoops, facing towards me. Slightly forward, turn and look at that hand. Just remember, slightly forward first before you turn and look at that hand that's up above your head. Just trying not to fall over like I've just done. Okay, last 10 seconds and then we're gonna grab our mats and go onto the floor. So I grab a mat, I'm just gonna move the screen down a little bit more. So come down onto the floor. You're gonna be in a plank position, but on your elbows. And all you're gonna do is just dip your knees down. So you keep this, everything else staying still. Just gonna take those knees down. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Last 10 seconds. And coming out of that one. So on your back, 
And we're going to do those dead bugs. So you don't have to have the weights if you don't want to, that bit's entirely up to you. So opposite arm, hang on, opposite arm and leg. So when you take your legs down, really squeeze that lower back into the mat so you don't arch your back. Last 10 seconds. And back up again. So onto your hands and knees this time. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're going to come out, squeeze your knee in and out. So squeeze it in, straighten out. It's the same leg. Really try and squeeze that knee up towards your chest. Last 10 seconds, then the other side. Knees up, we change sides. Ready. So opposite arm and leg. So really squeeze that knee up. Well done, you've got one more after this, and that's the first round done. Last 10 seconds. And rest up there. Turn it back over. So you're going to have your weight just above your chest. And all you're going to do is just little crunches up. Are you ready? Off you go. Just come up and down. The further your arms are away from your chest, the harder this will be. Don't brush these, do them nice and controlled, especially on the way down. Okay, one more. And rest up there. Grab yourselves a drink. That's the first round done. everybody all right marvelous is she still on the floor or did she get up and go oh there she is she's back there you are i thought you were still on the floor <laughs> right are you ready for round two at least you know what to expect now are you ready so back to the beginning again So, so side, hands up here, 
So nice and slowly, take one knee out, and up there. So the slower you go, the better it will be. It's not the easiest move in the world, especially if your balance isn't very good. Ten more seconds, and we've got those alternate lunges with a twist. So grab your weight. 10 seconds, so alternate lunges with that twist round. Are you ready? Off you go, so it's a forward lunge, twist, back and up again. So you can do these as a four part move. So it's just one, two, three and up, or if you're clever, you can do it, it's like a rolling move. So just come forward and round. It's entirely up to you. I personally prefer the fall one. Please so don't fall over so much. Last 10 seconds. Okay, one more. And he's up there. So the next one is the overhead bends. So your hands are up above your head. Everything is being sucked in, suck your belly button into your backbone. Dip your hips under, over and up. So make sure you're not holding your breath. Keep breathing, obviously. But don't hold your breath. I tend to breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the, on the bend. That's how I find works for me. Five more seconds. One more each side. And rest up there. So weight choppers. So are you ready? Weight up here, over. So again, make sure you don't hold your breath. This one I find when I come down, I breathe out. You just gotta find which way works best for you. I know there's supposed to be a certain way you're supposed to breathe, but I can never remember which one it is. So I just find my own way of doing it. Last five seconds. One more. Well done. 15 seconds at the other side. So are you ready? Off you go. So after this one, we've got the windmills. Last time we had the weight in your lower hand. If you want to make it harder, you can put the weight in the hand that's above your head. It does make it harder, but then what's the point of being easy? <laughs> Last 15 seconds. Last one. Well done. So get those feet on the double yellow lines and turn one toe out. So if you want to keep the weight low down, it's there. If you want to do it the harder way, the 
the weight is above your head. You still have your hand facing towards me. Lean forward and down. So you've got to keep this arm up the whole time. If you need to bend any leg, you bend the one that the hand is sliding in front of. As I say, it's not easy this way. Oh. Ten more seconds. Oh. Oh. That one down. Change sides. Oh. So one hand facing towards me. Other one up above your head. Oh. Okay, lean slightly forward. Turn and look at that hand above your head. Reason you look at your hands above your head, apparently, is so that if you drop it, you can see you dropped it and you can move it out of the way before it hits you on the head. But I can tell you from experience, it doesn't happen. You don't move out of the way quick enough. The last 10 seconds. Cats join me. And rest up there. Ow. So down onto the floor again. Back to the floor once. So you're in that plank and you're just dipping your knees down. Nothing else is moving. Off you go, if you're ready. So just in that plank and just dip those knees up and down. Find which way is best for your breathing, but suck that tummy up so it protects your back. Ten seconds. And rest up there, turning over. We do those dead bugs again. So opposite arm to leg. Got to think about it first. So when you take your legs down, suck your belly button into your backbone and really push that lower back into the mat. Last 10 seconds. And rest up there. So back up to your hands and knees. And you're bringing those knees into your chest. So it's a bit like the other way up, dead bug really. So opposite arm and leg. Take it out, really squeeze that knee up. So bring your hand back so it's just under your shoulder and squeeze that knee up. Ten more seconds. Ease up. So the other side, I walk up. So same thing on the other side. 
Are you ready? Right, one way. Probably find one side is stronger than the other, which is normally the way. So really squeeze that knee up as far as you can. Last 10 seconds, one more exercise. One more. And then so back onto the mats. We're just going to do those little sit-ups. But see if you can keep your arms up straight this time. So stay up the whole time. Arms right the way up. And just little ones up and down. Do this nice and controlled. So squeeze up, slowly lower back down. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Last 10 seconds. Okay, one more. And coming up out of that one. So, just have a very quick stretch of those abs. So just kneel up. Let's see what time is, oh, all right. So just move onto those knees. One arm up and come over that way, stretch out that side. And then take that arm down, the other one up there. So come out of that one, should have done this one first really. So down onto the mat, so you put your hips down, push up. Come out that one. Oh, I'm not come over towards you. Whew. I'm definitely not cold now. So 